In the drawing of the part from the gum, we do not have any perpendicularity requirements, so we will use the alignment from the drawing with the references and we will pick a feature from the part to evaluate the perpendicularity. Okay, so go to GUM Inspect Software, open a new project, click and drag the CAD model, set it as a new part, okay, I also have a coordinate system here, but I don't think we will need it. So I'm going to delete that, also go and drag our mesh data, drag to the program, okay, and now as you can see we have the CAD model and we have the mesh scanned, uh, original part scanned, okay, so first we have to go and do a pre-alignment and as you see here uh, the software put the mesh over the CAD model okay so this is what we wanted now let's have a look on the drawing in order to see where to make the datums okay so we are going to take this plane, we are going to take this plane and this plane. We will need this plane in order to make the perpendicularity. So back to GOM, go to construct plane, fitting plane, control and click on the plane that you want to take from the part, create. This is the first one, second one, and the third one. Create and close. Go to nominal geometries, plane. Let's call this one A. Call this one B. and call this one C, simple ABC, but Y1, no, you see, okay, now select all of them, go to measuring principle, and reference construction, good. Now go to construct. Local coordinate system and create datum system. We will select A as the primary datum. B as the secondary datum and C as the tertiary datum. So we will have our alignment right there. Okay, ABC, create and close. Hide this coordinate system in order for us to work. Now I will try to select the geometry from the CAD model where we have a cylinder in order to make the perpendicularity. Go to Construct, go to Cylinder, Fitting Cylinder, I will pick this one, OK, Create and Close, again set the measuring principle to Fitting Element, and now that we have the cylinder we go to Inspection, go to Check GDNT, perpendicularity and 
where it says datum system pick datum A. Okay, so here it's the type of the tolerance zone. We want it to be circular, circular tolerance zone. 0 0.2, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, good. So this is it. This is how you do a perpendicularity on comb inspect.